Hi friends, it's Lori. I am back with an outgoing swap project. Um, I was lucky enough to get into the hashtag creepy clipboard swap hosted by It's a Deal and I will link her channel up below. Um, this was a super cool one. You had to make a six by eight um, clipboard and then include, and it needed to be six by eight, then include two embellished bag toppers, a Memdex card, two crafters choice embellishments, a dangle, two store-bought goodies. So what I created, um, oh, and, and then you are partnered up with a single person and it's a direct swap. So that's kind of cool. Um, it's a little different. Um, in that you have the opportunity to ask questions of your swap partner at a time and you know that you are you get you're getting their likes and dislikes and favorite colors and um, then you can create specifically for them. So my partner is Ace in Beautyland and she um, said she definitely likes the creepy vibe. She's a big fan of black. Um, I'm going to link her channel up below. She does um, definitely Halloween stuff, but um, all kinds of paper crafting and then also beauty reviews. Definitely worth checking out. So this is what um, I will be sending her along with the goodies. I included some of this black sparkle tool that I used on here because I really like that. And then some black and white twine that I also used on here. I just embellished the top of that. All right, so let's move some stuff out of the way and dig in. So here is my, pull this, the dangle off, get that out of the way. Okay, not as easy as it looks. All right, so there we go. So this comes off, um, obviously. I would have gone with black, but orange was the closest I had. So I started out with a um, chipboard base covered in paper. I'm just gonna show it to you, but I'm not sure where it is. And I found my sewing machine wouldn't stitch through it. So instead I took the heaviest cardstock paper I had, doubled that up, and then used a heavy cardstock to go, um, pattern paper to go over that and then put one more on the back. So it's definitely got some sturdiness to it, um, but I was able to still stitch because I knew I really wanted to use that tool and create like a shaker. So that's what we've got there with little stars in it. I just did, you know, a little um, tinsel and twine string on the top. And then for the dangle, I just learned to make these and oh my goodness, I am like so addicted to these now. Let me make sure that this is going to focus. So I found these two glass beads and this is like, I think fused glass is what that is. Um, and then I put a little boo charm under the bottom of that, that I got in Alpha Alley. But I found this one and this little ghosty um, and then he's got like clear glass here for his mouth and you can kind of see that each one is a little unique because literally they drop the hot glass I love that and then I've got a little black gummy bear because I'm pretty sure she said she likes gummies and then um, mostly black and gray and I used a little bit of orange um, with a black tassel on the bottom. So that's my chunky chain, my dangle. And that will go, okay, after I pick it up, that will go on there. And then next up for the Memdex card, I did a spider wet base and I think I cut this probably four times um, and layered that. And then I used the new Coco and Reno die to make this um, ribbon banner on the back and stitched through that. This sentiment is one of my own that I created and printed and just 
popped up on foam and covered with um, like twirled some silver thread around and then I used a little bit of the black tool behind it and then I don't know if you can see it I also got some of that spider web stuff from Dollar Tree and like swirled that around as if he was actually weaving the web and it kind of hooks around his feet and then this fun little shaker spider die um, this layered up and gave him little gemstone eyes and a little bit of sequin mix in it and then just some sequin stars and chipboard stars that are glittered up so that is my memdex card and then for the bag toppers this is what I created again I am absolutely loving this new die from Coco Reno if you don't have it if you don't have a subscription I would say this is one to buy one off for sure um, literally I am obsessed with it so that's kind of the background I did a small and a large um, here I used some of that I don't even know what they call it it's like creepy fabric um, in a dark gray that you get from Dollar Tree. It's, it's in all of the Halloween stores. You kind of like drape it around. Um, I used some of that in the background and then chipboard um, numbers from one of the collections. I made a little vellum ghosty, um, a miniature coffin. This is a tag that I printed and then spritzed with, um, I think it's aged pewter, Tim Holtz distress, distress spray. And then this one actually started as just the bat, which I turned into a bag topper, but then I just couldn't stop and I kept going. So I layered up this, this bat bell on top of him, put that on top of a banner, and instead we have a little um, bag topper that's all layered up. And I love both of these. I really do. All right. Next up is the embellishment. So, Crafter's Choice Embellishments, I made these little miniature coffins, and again, I used that tool, I just made simple bows out of it, and printed off some of these words and added a few jemmies. So, this is ready to go on something, like literally, she could take this and, you know, put it on a bag topper, or use it on a card, or whatever she wants, and then I have this fun little... Um, shaker witch's hat that I am including with that so that is my embellishment and then for the store-bought goodies I think I mentioned I'm gifting her some of this tool and the twine and I kind of decorated that that box and oh one final thing she likes chocolate so blood orange oh my gosh how perfect is that and it's like the intense star. This stuff is so wonderful. I've had this myself several times, so I thought that that would be perfect. And gosh, it does coordinate. Um, just happy accident right there. So this is heading out in tomorrow's mail, and I am super excited for her to receive this. Oh, one more thing. I made a sequin mix. Um, I just took a test tube and used some thin pattern paper with some washi tape and then put a little gem down in there to, to cover that. Um, and then just, you know, some fun twine and ribbons. Um, and then this is the same shaker mix that I used in here. Um, so she can use that on a project. So again, heading out tomorrow. Um, we'll get this posted as soon as I know she's received it. Thanks for watching.